Using a pick list can increase efficiency by creating a list of all items needed for shipping specified orders. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to generate and manage pick lists. Pick lists are generated on the Manage Orders page. For example, filter your orders to Unshipped and Charged, and click Search. Now, all orders that were paid for but not yet shipped will appear in the grid. Select the orders you want to ship. Open the action menu and click Generate Pick List. The action request will enter a job queue. When the job is completed, access your pick list by clicking on the Show Pick List link over here. To manage your pick lists, open the Orders tab and click on Manage Pick Lists. Pick lists will display in this grid. You can filter a search for a specific pick list using these filters. Now open the pick list. At the top are several filters for the products in the pick list. With the inventory filter, you can narrow your list to items that are available. The term available can be set to refer to any item which is available to ship. This is usually done for companies that ship partial orders. It can also be set to consider the entire order unavailable if even one of its items is not available. The two options can be set in the client settings. This filter narrows your search for known or unknown SKUs. An unknown SKU is an item that does not have a corresponding product record in Seller Cloud. This can happen if orders are imported from a different system and may include products that are not in the Seller Cloud system. The Items filter can be used to create a separate pick list for orders with a single item and multiple items. Click Refresh and the grid will display only the filtered orders. You can sort your pick list in alphabetical or numerical order by clicking on the grid bar. The list can be sorted according to any one of the column headers, including SKU, quantity, and location. To print out your pick list, open the action menu and export the pick list to a PDF or an Excel spreadsheet so that you can print it. Oftentimes, you'll have purchase orders being received with items that are needed for unshipped orders. Seller Cloud's receiving module, ReceiveBridge, will display such items in the cross dot column so that you can send these items directly to the shipping department as they are received. After scanning the purchase order in ReceiveBridge, click on the items and mark them as received. Now you'll be able to see which items are cross docked. Right-click on the order and click Create Pick List from the drop-down menu. Now you'll have a list of all items needed for shipping. When dealing with a high volume of orders with many shipping stations, you can split your pick lists by number of orders per shipper. To do so, open the action menu and click Split Pick List. On this screen, you'll get a total number of orders to fill and the amount of units and SKUs needed. Enter a maximum limit for orders per shipper and the number of shippers. Click Split Pick List, and the pick list will be divided based on the given information. Each split pick list will be assigned a new pick list number with the parent pick list referenced on each of the split pick lists. Now the shippers can open ShipBridge and enter their assigned pick list number into the pick list filter. This way, different orders are streamed to different stations, splitting up the workload and preventing double shipping. A pick list can be generated automatically at a scheduled time using the Schedule Tasks option. Open the Settings tab, then open the toolbox and click Schedule Tasks. Select Pick List Generate from the drop-down and click Go. Now configure the time of the scheduled task. For more information about pick lists and scheduling an automated pick list, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.